Hey guys, just a guy here. Um, welcome to another episode of Subtech. I've been busy. I've only died twice off camera this time. But um, I had to remove my TP from out here because I kept dying and it got blown up a few times. Luckily, it didn't get destroyed. Um, but horses are fine. I had to rebuild the wall once. That's funny. In like two hours of play, I had to do that. I got it to work down here. Apparently, the thing was it had to be six tall and something like five wide. It was ridiculously um, big. I thought it was a skylight thing, but apparently not. Um, I got it to work down here after I played around with it in a creative world a couple times to see how to get the thing to sit, sit down. Uh, it's still not perfect because I had to put a ton of torches to not have a spawnable area down here. Because they only have like a three block thing. But the problem is, is um, most of the time when I try to right click there. Uh, yeah, I was trying to get the something to work and I couldn't get the command. I was trying to get uh, spectator mode so I could look at my base from the sky for a screenshot. But it wasn't working. I might just have to use up creative to fly up there. I want to take a picture of my front because it's looking pretty cool. Well, cool as Stone Age technology can. But, um. Oops, run away. I had to, you know, redecorate. As you can see, I have like a little overhang on the right. Oops. I fully expanded my water production. Because I grinded out 32 more leather. Uh, well, more, a little more than that because I also made some leads. And I only had like 8 barrels of water. And they get less than a bucket of water per rainy day. So even after leave AFK for like 5-6 hours, I barely have any water. So I went full out here and put a bunch of them. I put them here so that I wouldn't have to, you know, go outside and get killed all the time by the creepers. And one of the other things I unfortunately learned um, is clay barrel extensions either don't work at all or they just don't work with these type of barrels. Oops, come on. As you can oops, tell, um, the water isn't going up the barrel at all, and yet if I put a bladder full of water, I can't empty it into the barrel. Uh, I can't do it from the top. It won't work. Shift click, regular click, nothing. And if I go down to the barrel, it won't work either. So it's kind of looking like these Chloe barrel extensions are crap. At least for now, maybe they work with another type of barrel. Because if you look at it, it says barrels to extend the capacity, um, four buckets, and limited height, obviously. But they don't work. And these are fired ones. These aren't, you know, the raw ones, which would be the problem. But no. So this is a waste. I'm just leaving it there because I can't break them without them turning into like a brick. Uh, I can pick them up with an empty hand with shift right click like this. Oops. Well, get rid of my water skin. But I can't, you know, break it. Um, so yeah, I got that. And I was also going to work on composting, but these particular brand of barrels don't, you know, make dirt blocks out of leaves or anything. There is what I noticed. Um, when I was looking up something, I can't remember what it is. There's a composting box. Oh yeah, it's because I was looking up wicker. Uh, I had seen somewhere that for sugarcane made thatch, but in this particular game it makes wicker, which the only thing I can do with wicker right now is make a composting bin. And if you look at the composting bin, the only recipe I can make right now is like fertilizer and biomass which I don't think uh, does anything for me because I don't really have actually additions yet so it's sort of pointless but 
I did actually run into thatch when I was trying to look up stuff. Um, apparently, these really, really annoying rose tips I kept running into make thatch. For whatever reason, when I was looking up thatch previously, all I got was wet thatch and dry thatch, these things. I didn't ever come across fresh thatching. So that's it. So the little sleeping mat is not going to be as hard as I thought. But you would not believe how much I had to AFK to get rainwater to make these 32 leather. Because that's 64 little wineskins of water. Um, I had thought about running to a river, but I keep dying so much out there, it's just not worth it. But I needed leather because... I messed that up somehow. Uh, to make things, but one of the things that I did get together was the roast, the leather cords and stuff to make uh, the chopping block because I'm getting sick of chopping wood by hand. And one of the things I did run across looking at the leather cords is the backpack. Um, previously, I had no idea how to make it. Uh, I got the plant cloth, obviously. But, um,. I thought, when I was looking at the recipes for the backpack, all I got were the dyes, and it's just one leather cord, a bunch of leather, and a box, a chest, to make a backpack, right? But when I looked at the backpack itself, I just got all these recipes on how to dye a different color, and unfortunately, it's on the very last page, or second to the last page. It was on here somewhere. Um, maybe I have to go through this one. Back, back. But yeah, it was like on the last page of all the colored ones. Or maybe not. Yeah, you can't get the recipe from here, so you gotta go through the leather cords, which is very, very weird. But first, we're gonna make our chopping block. But yeah, unfortunately, my super barrel storage system with the clay pipe was a waste. I mean, I still got all the extra space of these barrels out here, possibly. And considering it takes more than a rainy day to fill one bucket of water, each of them having eight is going to be a really big help. I just wanted this one so I'd have a lot of water centralized in my base, but it doesn't really work. So this is a chopping block. There's two recipes. You can either do sticks on the side like this, or wooden planks and one stick at the top. I don't know why you would do wooden planks, other than that it's just a flint and a wood. The big thing is you need two leads, which is almost all the horse powered things. So this works. Um, what time is it? Still daytime. What did I do with this? How did I get that? That's very weird. Oh well, it doesn't work anyway. Yeah, I unfortunately actually spent some of my clay out of the river watery things to make two more thinking I'd be, oh yeah, I can hold like 20, but no. So, let's get some food in my hands just in case I get hit. Still got a ton of salt left. I had over a stack and now I'm down to like a little less than a stack. Um, what was I looking for? Oh, I'm gonna need the rose hut things to make thatch, but... My chopping block, where'd it go? There we go. So I run away. For whatever reason, there's always a ton of enemies right left of me. Like, they can see me through walls really well. This oak tree is not growing. I think you do need four of them to grow one to make the giant oak, dark oak. You can't get the smaller dark oak. Come on. Die, 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 die. I need a better sword. Just bone is so easy to get in resource wise. It's even easier than stone. Because stone you need to freaking that stuff. Okay, I'm hoping this works. Um, get out of the way, horsey. Ah, come on. I didn't shut my door, so to speak.
Yeah, it's kind of sad how dangerous everything is still at night or daytime just because um, all these enemies have freaking uh, helmets on. Oh, they were dying there. Imagine that. So, yes. It looks like that little four thing in the middle is the safe area and then it starts like two blocks out to have the walk around speed so you can have a millstone and a chopping block all in the same area that's cool do i have any wood on me yes i do so let's put some wood oops okay yes yes come on where's my axe I get out my axe and I don't use it. So that's annoying. Hmm. As far as I can tell, you can only put one block down at a time. I mean, you do get four planks instead of two out of one log. Yeah. It takes quite a few rotations for one horse, it seems. Oops. I'm going to actually push this back a little bit. Okay, so... I'll just use dirt for now. That way we got a little bit more of a space. There we go. Run. Run very far, very fast. We'll go to sleep. Yeah, I don't know what people get spectator mode, how, but I couldn't figure it out. Even with the tab help things, but, or maybe it's just not in this. I don't know if it's a vanilla thing. I just know a lot of Minecraft YouTubers somehow do spectator mode to like, you know, tour their base or do screenshots and stuff. What was I doing? Uh, yes, I was going to make a... The only thing I can think of to improve that might be a hopper. I don't know if it would work, but I'll work on that later. Next is what I was trying to do. Um, oh, we want to get another horse. That's what I wanted to do. Get a second horse real quick. There should be a bunch over here like always, hopefully. Then we're going to get a bunch of thatch. We're going to get some more berries. Just working on our nutrition. Unfortunately, I looked at like the, the menus and stuff as I could, and there's no way to get wild berry seeds that I could tell. So you got to work with what you got. Um, I need an empty hand. Uh, I don't know how I got those two bushes. I think it was a creeper explosion. Um, maybe shears will help let me pick up a bush. Or maybe you can just blow them up naturally and they won't turn into nothing. Oh wow. This must have been that horse I lost a while ago. Because, yeah, yeah, he's already tamed. Because I had a horse when I first tried and then I didn't have a millstone or anything. But this must be that guy. And then we can get our thatch and get our bed and then... The main goal next, I think, is the dark lands at that compass we built a couple episodes ago. Whoops. That's, yeah, that's bad. That's a few accidents in a row. Even with me trying to fill things in, it's crazy amount of, uh, mistakes around here. Ah. Did the loot break? Come on. Mm. 
Hmm. Did I my leave? Did it just disappear? Where's that horsey sleep? Wow, what, what, why did all my leaves break? Usually they pop to the ground or something if they do. That is very annoying. Considering how much effort I gotta put into making leads in terms of leather, it's rather annoying. Well, let's just push you in there for now. Come on, get in there. Okay, I just picked something up somehow. Okay, I got my lead back. I have no idea where it was. Come on, go in there. Huh. I know I got this other horse in here. I swear it was through a one wide door. Come on. Maybe not. Oh, let's get this one. It's about to break. Oh, it is broken. Come on. You can do it. Now, where did the other lead go? Well, unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to get, yep, get in there. Do I have two leads on you somehow? What the? Why is he walking over here? Okay. There's one of my leads. Okay, there's another lead. Okay. For whatever reason, they weren't attached to the horses anymore. Let's... Let's get this working. Okay, we have two on the same thing. No, we cannot. I thought we'd be able to double our horsepower. So we just have two horses for two machines. I mean, that works. And let's get some wood, or not wood, but cobblestone. Oh, I moved my door over. My bad. Actually, I now have cobblestone somehow. There we go. That'll work. And now we just gotta get some of this rose bush crap that I was always throwing away. Still wouldn't have been able to make my beds. Um, my shears. No, it's not really any faster. Because um, it takes three leather as well, and obviously when you first start the game, unless you're really lucky, that's not gonna happen, because you need both salt um, and lots of water. Luckily, the drying racks do not take too long, so I mean, it's not one of those ones where you wait five minutes for something to dry. Huh. Oh, wow. I'm getting little fishies out of there, I guess. Okay, get the dye in here. There we go. Um, yes. So, blooming rose tips, yes. Stems. There we go. Fresh thatching. As much as we can. There we go. Get rid of that junk. We don't want it. So now what do we do with fresh thatching? We dry rack it, right? Oh no, you just put it in the world. So four of these to make one wet thatch.
Oh, you have to put in your heat source. Okay. So, wet thatching. Here we go. Can make five of these, huh? Okay. And I'm really curious. Whatever, I'll pick that up. I didn't really want to. Okay, so... I mean, pretty much anywhere will work, but I'm curious if this little fire pits will work better. Hmm. And then I gotta be near a light source or something. Oh, look at that there. Yeah, this is that barrel I put to try to compost in, like I showed you earlier, but it doesn't work. So it's just an extra barrel for now. I didn't want to expand my little platform even more. Because I kind of got past the point of needing leather at quite as much. I'm not sure how long it takes. Probably like a minute. Oh, there we go. The one's done. It's funny that it's the one nearest to the top. Must be like a random tick thing. Because that was not the first one I placed. So after that we get to dry thatch or whatever, right? And what's the uses? Highly flammable. Huh. Use stats to provide support. I don't think I can do that yet, so... Thatch in slabs. Manual chopping block. Chopping block. It's weird how it shows the horse thing even on the manual. But what do I need for the mat? Well, let's just have bed. It showed up anyway. Sleeping mat. Thin. So I need three thin and three leather. So that's like only one of these, I think. Ooh, it burned. You got to pick it up quick or it burns. Okay, that's that's crazy. You get two thatch out of one, I think. Wow. I wonder if it wouldn't burn from a torch, oh no, but it does a fire pit. These aren't working. I think they're too close. Hmm. Thatch. So this should work and for now. Uh, where's my axe again? I think. Because it does say manual chopping block. There we go. We got two of them. This will give us four, which is a little too many, but... Okay, so we have thatch for whatever you said is good for. Let's see what else it's used for. No, just a sleeping bag. Oh, that's because I type in the word bed. Okay. Uh, uses of thin slash slab. Nothing. Just the sleeping bag. So. That down here. Get rid of my axe again. Get some leather. One, two, three. Oh wait, it's the other way around. I need an empty hand. Put these up here. That over there. Come on. The hit detection on this is pretty bad sometimes. Oh, it's my hand's not empty anymore. That's annoying. I look forward to the days of vanilla Minecraft uh, crafting table. The only benefit I can see of this is you get XP every time you craft with it. Sort of like a stove or whatever furnace. So, sleeping mat. Hmm. Well, I'll just put it down here for now. It's a really bad spot. Oh wow, you just, oh it has a durability, wow. That's kind of annoying. Okay, what's the little icons mean? Weakness, mining fatigue. So it's 
a bad night's sleep. That's interesting. I mean, eight seconds or ten seconds or whatever isn't too bad. But uh, right click the toggle off point. You can only sleep at night. Set spawn point. Okay, yeah, we don't want it to set our spawn point. But that's nice. I can do nighttime really easily. Unfortunately, that gives me a bunch of useless batch, at least until I want to um, uh, make another bed because it breaks. So I'm going to see if this burns. Um, the other one dried and disappeared, so I assume it burned. I didn't see it, actually. Uh, where did my dirt go? I guess I was put there. Same with the wood. I'll have to make planks at some point later. Actually, we do need some slabs because we need to make. No, we don't need slabs for this. We just need rock and a chest to make a backpack. It's not on the little tech tree, which is surprising because in most games, the backpack is a huge advancement in terms of improvement of quality of life, just having more storage space. So let's see, planks. We do have exactly eight, which we need to not think eight? Yeah. For some reason I think it was nine. But it's three and three and then two, so. Oops. Uh, chest. Hopefully we won't have to be making these very much longer. They're really bad at being a chest. So it's a chest. Leather all around, and then one leather cord, which I might have over here. That are worm. Yeah, I don't have any worms. This is sort of my leather box, more or less. Yes, it does work. I was curious since the recipe didn't show up in the normal thing that maybe I couldn't use it. Uh, shift. Next up here is wooden tier zero backpack. Um, oops, I pushed something. No BS popped up. I was talking about filter keys. I must hit the FN button, whatever that does. Function button, maybe. Uh, I better make sure it's still recording. Yes. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, let's see. Yes, backpack. Next here is wooden. How do I... Yeah, I can't make a wooden backpack yet. I can make a wooden shield. Um, oops. I guess that exists. It's funny all these things they make you do in the tech tree and all the things that they don't which would really really help you. I don't think wooden lanterns yeah I can't make it. It's just planks. Um, I can't make the lantern and the gear would be pointless. But yeah, so mostly going to the Darklands and the Totemic things now. Uh, let's try this out. Wow, that's a really small backpack. But any backpack is better than no backpack. So let's put my... I guess my... I'm trying to get rid of my stone pickaxe because I'm using bone mostly. We'll put this in there, a compass in there for now, a couple torches, that never ending plant fiber. Um, did I? Autofill and all that stuff is on. I don't know what the repair thing is. Uh,
There we go. I don't I don't know if that backpack functions that I saw in World of Dragons are here. I'm not quite up to it yet. But we'll put all that stuff in there. Do need our atlas if we want to see anything. Mm, our spare meat, I guess. Run flesh. I don't know if I pick it up, it'll automatically go in there. That'd be nice. Again, we'll try to get rid of that. And I guess we'll just put the thatch in there for now, because we don't have any room in our house. But, you know, honestly, a backpack is better than a chest. Although, it does take a chest to make it anyway, so... But, uh, let's, uh... See what we got for the thing. We need to make a saddle, even though I don't really need one. I mean, you know, moving faster would be great, but let's go put that in there. Oh, we can't. We gotta open it. I don't know what keys default to opening that automatically. It. I haven't shifted that around yet because I haven't had a backpack since then. We'll work on it later. So a saddle is cordage, I think. Might even need to make more. There might be three cords. Saddle. Yeah, it's three cords. Who would ever thought I'd be making saddles? You know, one of those most useless things in vanilla Minecraft, where you get them in every dungeon and chest, and then you never need them after you get one, if you ever use that one. Running out of string. Oops. Gotta make my cords. And unfortunately my tools in here again. Backpack is a nice thing to have. But I guess it's not so great to put your tools in there. Even if you don't use them very often. This makes nine of these. And these need to be stringed. To make cords. Um, where are these for now? I guess. Oh no, it's a different recipe. This is the trap, not the other one. Oops, like this. Get rid of that. I may as well make them all because I don't think there's another recipe you can use leather strips for, at least nothing I have access to. Although it is wasting the very limited strength. And there's no sheep around me either for the most part. I got tons of horses though, but no sheep. And unfortunately it seems like I'd be better off with sheep because um, you can use almost any animal to work the mills. The grindstones and stuff, and at least I could cheer the sheep as well, while well, horses are just sort of useless unless you ride them. So, now we gotta do this, right? Yeah, because we gotta make leather strips, or, no, leather cords are what I need, right? For saddle? Okay, yeah, that's all, I don't have to go to the next step to make a, what was a lead or something that I got used to making. So one, two, three. Get rid of this. So much leather goes into this. Come on. There we go. I mean, luckily you do get several pelts worth of hide out of several animals, but you still have to make it all. That seems to be taking forever to do spawn. I wonder if items have like a longer despawn in this mod pack. So we got a saddle. Um, now I just have to find another horse. Um, I killed a couple for pelts a long time ago just to see what they dropped in this mod pack. But I haven't really seen too many since then. Uh, let's get my backpack. I think my second pick is in there. I want to get rid of this broken one. And we'll see how it works. Uh, 
Oh, when you repair it, it doesn't keep the blocks broken, which is unfortunate. I mean, I don't see what the point of it is, but just sort of kind of a nice little statistic of how long you kept a stone weapon or something. So now we got the saddle. Um, we are going to sleep real quick. Unfortunately, it's not quite night, which is always unfortunate. It seems pretty dark. Yeah. I really don't want to go adventuring on the high plains. Looking for a horse at night. I mean, not for me so much as the horse. Yeah, so it seems like putting these near a torch is better. If you put it near a fire source, it catches fire. Um, let's see, do I have a spare chest anywhere to put all this stuff in? Technically, my die chest, but dry thatching, yes. And let's. Our safer dog, safe little pit over here. Fortunately, all of our dogs are dead. Can't remember if it happened on screen. One died out there sitting. Um, I got attacked by a zombie and it got up. It didn't stay sitting and tried to attack the zombie and I didn't know when I ran away from it. And the zombie killed it. And then the other one I just lost. Like, I don't know where it teleported to. I never got a screen thing it's saying it died. But when I got those two dogs, when I got home, one of them was just gone. And it hasn't teleported to me yet. Oops. I don't know what happened. It moved to the next thing over. So is it nighttime night? Yeah. Chop chop. Okay, so now we are going to get a horsey. Because, oops, we one of our berries. These grow pretty fast. They're actually a really good source of early food. They don't provide a lot of nutrition in terms of combat safety, but for how fast they spawn compared to most other vegetables and fruits, it's pretty good. Especially if you have a couple of them. Okay, see that guy's a problem. Even during the daytime, I gotta worry about creepers. And I can't do much about it. Like, I can't just go further away and let them despawn. Because the only way I could easily do that would be to go up. But I don't have access to ladder technology. Before I get distracted, put my saddle and my thing. I can't remember if you put it in their little inventory screen. I do need string, Mr. So. Sorry, Mr. Spider. I know you're not currently trying to kill me. But you're going to die. Their hitboxes. So weird. That's a lot of mud. I haven't really seen a use of mud yet, other than mud clumps. So, there's, oh, there's a horse. Huh. Two creepers. Wow. Just Oh, I must have let him over here earlier. Do I want to bother to get the dirt? No. Hey, okay, I bothered him. Oh, I got a critical. I don't do that very often. Takes like five hits, four hits to kill a creeper. It's crazy. Dangerous. It's like if you punched a creeper to death in vanilla Minecraft. Yeah, this is another. Oh, as I say, this is another one. I don't even know if this horse is very fast. For all I know, the fastest horse in Minecraft is at my mill right now. Come on. You know you love me. Come on, horsey. Sure, I didn't feed you anything, and I'll probably never feed you in your life unless you get hurt. But, you love me. Well, we got carrots over here, but he doesn't eat carrots. Wheat. Yes. I don't need it, per se. Get rid of that thing. I don't want that. There we go. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It only makes them like you slightly. You're easier just to keep right clicking, getting on and off. There we go. So, inventory, armor, and a saddle. Yeah. I'd actually like a mule, even if they're generally not as fast. But 
because they carry stuff. Yay. Hey guys, we got we got the technology, guys. We are riding a horse. And it walks sideways. And it looks very weird in that mode. So now we are pretty much as ready as we're going to get to go look for the dark lands. Well, there's another horse. Like I said, I have horses. We are in the horse lands. And he's pretty fast. His jump seems to leave something to be desired. A lot of fish. Where can I test the jump? Here we go. Okay. I'm. I can't remember how the jumpy thing works. You just hold it and let go, or what? I need get off. Uh, let's make a jumpy thing to test. I currently have no dirt blocks somehow. I thought I grabbed some from the creeper explosion. Even though I, have, I angered the other creeper to do so. Some tells me though, just from what I could tell, he doesn't jump very well. Although it's been a very, very, very long time since I've um ridden a horse and worried about the jumping. So let's see if he can get over a too high block. There we go. Okay, okay so if you let go, Okay, you hold and then let go at the optimum time. Wow, yeah, he can't jump too high. I mean, I'm, some of it's me sucking, but he can't do it. All he can do is step assist. So he seems pretty fast, theoretically, but I'm going to try one of these other horses. Because, sorry mister, I, I'd like to be able to jump at least too high. Oh yeah, I gotta have an empty hand. Which means, go to the saddle. Wow, that guy... That guy had a little bit more hearts too, I think. Two more hearts. I can never remember if what they look like matters. I thought the patchwork ones are generally not as good. So we got a horsey. He loves us in almost no time. And I would say he's a little slower or it's about the same. But let's check his jump. Am I just messing this up? Okay, he can make two, barely. It takes like all of his ability to get two. Um, get my saddle back. Probably should have made a lead to be able to tie up my horse. This guy has one less heart, but I can live with that. Well, he hasn't kicked me off yet, so I'm getting this weird clipping through a wall thing. Ow. Yeah, this one's really gonna hurt me when he kicks me off. Come on. Ow. These are mountain ponies. They like to be on these little tiny ledges. So... Eh, he's any different. He's about as slow as the last one, or... Again, the same as all of them. Not particularly fast. I think he's about the same as me running. But again, no one, no food consumption. He can jump. He can jump. I would say possibly three. 
because he seems to clear two pretty easily. He's not the crazy five block high one though. Nope. Okay, there we go. I don't know what the thing is. You got super high there for a second. So he can clear three if I do it right. You have to be perfect. Yeah, so he can just clear three. But we're doing a scientific test here. No reason not to try my last horse that I see in the area. I don't know if these guys will despawn because they are my quote unquote mount. But I don't have a name tag. So that's an issue. Never eat while riding, guys. I don't see the hearts, but he hasn't kicked me yet. No, I can't open the inventory, so he's just taking a while. We're good. Pat, pat. That guy was very indecisive. I don't want to be inside the horse. Oh yeah, he's just standing on nothing. 100% of your life. Okay, I didn't even see the hearts at that. Okay, oh, he's got the like minimum amount of health. Like the same as me, 10. He is slow. Very, very slow. I mean, incredibly slow. Low health, slow. I am thinking he can't jump either. Wow, this guy, if I had a name tag, he'd be called Pokey. Or Glue. He's going to the horse mines. Hmm. The skeleton around here somewhere. Seems like it takes a while to break stuff if you're mounted. Huh. Horses can't go through a one white thing. Which is good for in terms of my horses escaping. Not so good in terms of. Oops, let's use my sleeping mat real quick. Okay, let's ride you into the corral. Ow, yeah, I knew that was going to happen, but I didn't feel like breaking another block. So, take off your saddle because you're useless. Um, put the saddle on one of these other guys. Let's try you. Well, you got one more heart. How do you get rid of... Oh, there we go. So, we got a lead back. And we'll put you on nothing. You have a lead. Oh, that guy's got a lot of hit points. So let's try you. Wow, he is... He's good. He's fast. I think. Well, he can just do three, so he is my best horse. I'm gonna keep him just because he's fast. Okay, so I'm gonna have to build somewhere that's safe for him. You know, thinking I can't even build a fence post, I'm I'm not. Even sure 
where I can tie off a lead. Can I build a fence? I never looked. No. Can I build a post or something here? Compost. So, I'm not sure if you can put a lead to a normal block or a tree block or something, a wood block. I don't have any wood on me. Let's try that. No, oh, we'll just ride him into here. No. Is this guy? There we go. He he was on there. I just didn't see the visual. Picked up something. I don't know what it was. There we go. We got a horse. We have an awesome horse and a saddle. Well, he's at least fast. Really fast. He can jump okay. You know that thing I turned on to make sure my bar wasn't filled? The auto sorter or whatever. It's nice in some cases. In other cases you want to have the stuff. But yeah guys, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. We got our horse. We got our saddle made, we got our bed made. All we got now is um, the totemic stuff and the Darkland stuff. Oh, and this will open up. I have a horse cart. Okay, I didn't know this continued to expand. I thought it'd be out of tech zero once I got this part done. Never paid enough attention. Uh, Let's, yeah, I still need the totemic stuff to do that. So let's look at the wheels first, just before this episode ends. I know I saw the gear earlier, but I didn't think there was anything I could build with it. The wheel is just planks and sticks, and then the wheel makes the bus go round and round. Cart. And plow. What's the plow do? Can I make farmlands with the plow even though I never got the villager to trade me for a farmland yet? Which now that I have a horse, I can possibly go look for another village easier. Because the village I have nearby does not have a farmer that I saw, unless they change over time. But we have a cart. We have the horse and we're going to have the cart soon. So I guess the question is what came first, the horse or the cart? Obviously the horse. But uh, just the guy here. Signing out or whatever. Catch you later, guys.